got it. Worth the wine Wednesday. Let's get let's get it started. Hey, it's hot. Hold on. I'm about to cut my heater off because it's hot. Whew. All right, heater off. Let's go. Okay, girl. When well, you'll be gone, <laughs> I opened the wine. Okay. You hear that? I love how that I love how it sounds. So yes, guys. You should know what wine this is. This is um Stella Rosa. Got some of that. So before we get into this video, let's do a little what they be doing um with the real wine and kinda. Trying to be a wine connoisseur in video, right? So it's fine. <sighs> Right, right. Come on, come on. Is it is it still me? It's still me. I don't want y'all to see the the kids stuff on the wall that I, you know. But whatever. Education is, is great. So I put letters on the wall for the kids to learn and read. Right. So okay. So for today's Worth It Wine Wednesday, I want to talk about um, dating. Okay more so my experience and what I'm going through in 2021 which kind of came from 2020 it didn't get accomplished then so I guess I'm, trying, I'm gonna figure it out this year okay so okay so from the beginning 2019 November September September um, September I broke up with my boyfriend okay of eight years um, so Broke up with him in, mm, excuse me, September, right? Um, November comes, December, all that, right? Um, even though we had broke up, I still had like major feelings for him because he, number one, he was my first relationship, so eight years, my first, like growing up, you know, I was a little fast till you know, I did my things, but I never had a boyfriend. Like, ever. Like, I had many male friends stuff. Many male friends. But it was never like that. Like, I wasn't... I had daddy issues. Keywords had. I had daddy issues. But I forgave him. And, you know, the Lord didn't work through me. And it, it is working through me. So, I've evolved, right? But, um... So, I met him during my... my I don't want to say my whole phase. That sounds horrible. Keep it real. I met him through my, <laughs> I met him during my whole phase, my, you know, exploring phase. I met him during my explorer, you know, lost my virginity at 17. Uh, I met him at like 20. So in my 21. head, um, with him, he didn't seem like he just wanted me for that, right? So on our first time meeting... I made sure he wasn't getting none of that because I liked him. He was real sexy. He seemed like he genuinely wanted me for me. So I didn't give none that first night. So we became really, really cool. Um, made some amazing memories, you know, and stuff. So he was my first. The first guy to tie me down, to have me being faithful and, you know, just whatever else, right? So, so we broke up no September, November. Um, we were still kind of talking, even throughout these months. He was living with me, right? So in November, we broke up. He was still living with me. Um, but we were in separate rooms. Me and the guy were, you know, here. He had a room. I had a room. Um, and that was fine. I was cool. Stay there. I'm staying here. We good, right? Um, I think April, March. I think end of February, he moved out. When he moved out, and then March came, um, in my head, I was ready to date. In my head, I was ready. Like, he was out. It's been about a month, you know, a couple weeks, you know, whatever. I'm feeling up to it. I want to get back out there, right? So, mind you, this was before the pandemic. This was 2019. We broke up 2019. 2020 was the pandemic. So, um, 20, so it was like in, ending of February, beginning of March, right? So, in the February, I'm just like, yeah, I want to date now. 
he's out the house i feel more liberated let me go date right um and mind you the dating i was thinking was like we'll go out meet people first go to bars go to clubs movies go out just meet people go where people are at and meet them right it's so good the watermelon one is good the very berry one is good the diasti the red diasti is good apple is good peach is cool blanco i don't know but whatever so, um end of february beginning of march um i'm ready to date right i want to go out i want to meet people like and i've been with him for so long like it was to the point that um from november to like january i could not look a guy in the eyes right like i was with him for so long like I, it was hard for me to connect with the male you know um not like a family member or a church person but if it was like a stranger on the street who could potentially be somebody you know i couldn't look in my eyes i couldn't connect i would look you see me i see you i turn i turn quick like i didn't even want to engage in like a, a stare off with the guy and a stare off is good that means like you know i didn't want to get to that point right so come into february i was to the point where i was ready to stare I wanted to be out and mingle and meet people and, and look at you and you look at me and we just know what's up, you know? I was ready for that. After eight years being with the same guy, you know, and it wasn't no picture perfect relationship them eight years, you know, but eight years of consistently being with one person for my years of doing whatever was crazy. So that comes, February comes, right? So uh, in the February, beginning of March, I'm ready to date. Guess who comes popping up out of nowhere? Nobody even asked for it. It just came up. Pandemic. Corona. Quarantine. Like, for real. Like, it was so crazy because I was ready. Like, end of February, I was finally kind of, like, getting over him and emotionally getting right. Mentally, I was getting right. And I was just like, girl... You deserve better, right? And then Rona happened. Rona shut everything down. Couldn't go nowhere. Couldn't do nothing. Couldn't go eat out of a bar or, you know, eat out, go to a bar, meet people, stare. Like, I couldn't do anything, y'all. Like, I felt so defeated. I, it brought me down. Like, because I was so ready to get out there and get the attention, you know, and have somebody, you know, you know. It made me feel good, <laughs> you know? And then Rona happened. And then, like, Rona happened, and a couple months, it led me to look for a sugar daddy. Like, <laughs> dog. Dog. It was, it was deep. So, um, Rona happened, and then it kind of halted everything. Couldn't really travel, couldn't do anything, you know? And, like... It sucks because now I really want to. I want to go out. I want to mingle. I want to see your face past the mask. You know? Um, I want to travel and by myself. You know? Like, I want to I wanna be this single 32-year-old who travels alone and is dating and is living her grown shit. You know? <laughs> For real. So, um... We're still in Rona, and then, um, like, I want to date, you know? I want to, because me and my ex, we're still, like, we're still close. Like, we still do some things, you know? I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that person who's still doing that with her ex. I'm cool, you know? Like, an ex is an ex for a reason. And I love him to death. I love him to death. But, um... If he can't give me what I want in my in my age now and older, I don't want it. You know, like I said, I'm 32 now. Like, I, I kind of know what I want. I, at least I know what I don't want. You know? So, I know, I, so since I kind of know what I want and he's not giving me all that I want, I'm not, I don't want to ponder and wait on that, you know? Um, so, I want to get back out there. I want to meet people and, you know, 
open myself back up. Because with him, like I'm sure a lot of other people, when you're with somebody for so long and it's so good, you're like, um, I don't want to start over. I'm cool. Start over. Please. You know me. You know all my hates, my, my dislikes, my likes, everything about me. Start over. Nah. But it's to the point where I'm ready to start over. And as scary as that may seem, um, I'm ready. And it sucks because he does know so much about me and we get along so good and stuff. My, he's seen, he's, he was here before my, my nieces and nephews were here. They're eight, nine and down. So he's been here before they were here. So they came, he was already here. So all that they know is him. And they love him and he loves them. You know, that sucks. You know, trying to pull the kids from him, you know, but like, I can't dwell on that. He could still be a part of their lives, but he ain't got to be a part of mine to be a part of theirs, you know? Whew. More drinking, less talking. Um, and it was crazy. The people who I somehow always get back talking to are OGs. People who have been in my life before. Like, what is that? Like, I met this one guy. He was a new guy. And it seemed cool, but he was very arrogant. Very, 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 very cocky and, and pushed me away. So, he was the only new booty I had met. Everybody else was old school. Like, I've been know them, known them. And even then, they weren't boyfriends. They were just friends that I've known for years. Maybe I messed with a couple, maybe not. And we were just all just cool friends, you know? So, it's like no no new booty was biting, you know? And then these sites, these dating sites, it's like, that's how I met my ex. I met him on Tagged eight, nine years ago. And I always told him, like, after this, I'm going to White Boys and no more online dating. I was cool. Now, in the pandemic, it seems that that's all that we have is online dating or go out and look up and see somebody who looks cute with a mask on and then like you know figure it out <laughs> you know but i don't want an online date you know it was cool it can be cool it's been cool but i'm cool <laughs> i don't want to do that i want to go out and meet somebody and see them and see me and we're just like oh hey you know i don't want to have to like your profile or hit you up in your profile for you to respond back and then we don't talk for days because i'm out online like i'm like dating right now well whenever it starts back i don't want a boyfriend well it has to be that but i want us to be moving towards better you know like i'm not just looking to be dating many guys like joan clayton on girlfriends who i love <laughs> but you know um if it gets to that point where I am dating, I want, I'm not, I don't want to just be sexing everybody. And I want to date for a reason, for a cause. I want to get married one day, you know, have my life partner, send my God. Like, I don't want to just be out here just chilling online, dating apps, hitting up guys. You know, you're supposed to hit me up. You're supposed to approach me. A man that finds a wife, finds a good thing, you know? So I'm like, where he at? I'm here. Let's get it good. seems so scary, you know, trying to date, having to start over, having to just do all the introductions again and this. And you have kids know what are your hobbies like. Oh, my gosh. Believe me, I do not want to do all that. Like, I want to meet somebody out. Like, like, in a movie. Like, I'm a romantic. I love movies. I love movies so like i want to meet somebody like in the movie theater not in the movie theater but in the movies i want to be out somewhere and you cut me off and we got the car and cut each other out you know or i go to starbucks to get this last uh cheese danish and you're in front of me in line and you get it before i get it and i'm mad and i cut you out you cut me out like i want something like that like <laughs> or or romantic or yeah. i've been trying to get to new orleans um, for recently it's been like on my head, like today I was looking up, um, hotels, looking up tickets, looking up stuff. Cause I want to go to New Orleans. Something is pulling me. What is it? <laughs> you know, but, um, yeah. So I don't know. Dating during the quarantine. 
And also, it could be the Lord, you know. I I think I'm so ready, uh, you know, this, that, and the third. And he's like, mm -hmm. you thought you was ready? Boom. Now, look, the world ain't ready, you know. So, it could be a blessing in disguise. For real. And I would say it's a blessing because even during this quarantine, rather than me focus on a guy or a relationship or looking for a guy, I've been able to focus on myself. I've been able to learn new crafts. I've been able to, you know, find the joy in myself again, you know. So I I would say that I'm happy that um I guess the quarantine happened when it happened. Cause I would have probably went out maybe I don't know if I would have made the same mistake or found somebody who just was like kind of like my ex or just worse. I don't think so. Um, but I'm just happy that I didn't rush into anything. You know, I need and needed this time to do me. I don't know. I pray about it.